Okay, this has been a long time coming. This is the conversation that I feel is the most important one for Vancouver Canucks fans to have heading into the 2023 NHL Entry Draft. We're talking about the Vancouver Canucks and their 11th overall pick, and we're discussing the two best right-handed defenders that the team might have the chance to take. Now, I say might have the chance because it's not guaranteed that either of these guys are going to be available at 11th overall. There is is a world that exists where both of these players are top 10 guys. However, just for the sake of making a video about it, just for the sake of having the argument, let's talk today about the two top right-handed defensemen in this year's draft and who would benefit the Canucks more. Axel Sandin Pelika or David Reinbacher. Now, if you want a bigger, more extended, deeper look at each of these guys, we have made Why I Want videos about them, so you can go ahead and click the playlist that is on the channel and see what it is that we have to say and read all the comments too, because there's always some good discussion going on amongst y'all for these prospect videos. But when it comes to the Vancouver Canucks, they're sitting at 11th overall, and both of these guys are not necessarily locks to being anywhere in the top 10. It's likely that they go there, but it's not... Guaranteed. The reason I say this is because Axel Sandin Pelica, we'll start off with him first because he's got the cooler name in my opinion, 18 years old, 5'11", 181 pound right-handed defenseman, he is consolidatedly ranked, is that a word, consolidatedly? His consolidated ranking is at 10th overall. Meanwhile, you have Reinbacher. He's a little bit bigger, 6'2", 187, also a right-handed defenseman. He is consolidatedly ranked at 16th. So these guys could both be available when the Canucks are picking, but because right-handed defensemen are unicorns, it's possible that they both get taken earlier on in the top 10 as well. It really just depends on what the values are of the teams making the picks before Vancouver. But either way, let's get into both of these guys and who I think would probably benefit the Vancouver Canucks more should you be forced to make a choice between them. Axel Sandin Pelica, as we had said, is the smaller of the two. He had played in the SHL this season, getting 5 points in 22 games. He played for the Junior 20 Skeleftia AIK team, getting over a point per game over there. He was also a beast for Team Sweden at the World Under-18s, getting 11 points in 7 games in that showcase. And Axel Sandin Pelica really showed off to us in that tournament that he is a bona fide offensive defenseman prospect. That he's got some great mobility, great skating tools, and a really good offensive side to his game game. David Reinbacher, on the other hand, played for EHC Kloten in the Swiss League, also produced a boatload of points, 22 points in 46 games, did not play for Team Austria at the U18s, but he did play for them at the World Juniors, getting two points in five games over there. And what we really saw out of David Reinbacher this season was stability, that he is a big, fluid skater that knows how to play the puck right and knows how to make good reads. He's a very safe and solid defenseman, and as a result, you have a very different set of profiles for both of these guys that says that they're both able to get points, but Axel Sandin Pelica is a lot more of that run-and-gun offensive dynamo-leaning defenseman, whereas Reinbacher is more of a two-way stable mule. If you go over to Patrick Petrin's Twitter account, Petrin does a lot of work for Swedish prospects, especially Vancouver Canucks-related ones. He made a tweet the other day saying that Axel Sandin Pelica is the top defenseman in this draft, followed by Reinbacher and Willander. Lim then replies, saying Dmitry Simashev probably has the highest floor of all of them, could end up being an elite shutdown first-pairing D-man on any team, and still has potential to get the better offense too. Petrin then replies, Axel Sandin Pelica has the potential to be the next Quinn Hughes, and Reinbacher could become a Moritz Sider type. And the reason I'm including this Twitter thread in this video is because with player comparisons, obviously it's difficult to say 100%, oh, this player plays like that player, this player is Quinn Hughes. I know I do it in the title of the Why I Want videos, but that's because I need to get clicks and I need the YouTube views. But it's a lot easier to try to formulate an opinion when you have player comparables to aid you in this assessment. Sure, I'm not going to say Axel Sandin Pelica is Quinn Hughes 2.0, but when it comes to a stylistic comparable player profile, Quinn Hughes is one that, if Sandy and Pelica maxes out to his ceiling, is a very good sort of assessment there. And so my question to you is this, if you're a Vancouver Canucks fan, assume both Sandine Pelica and Reinbacher are available at the 11th overall spot at the 2023 draft. 
The Canucks are at the draft table. They have to make their choice. You want to prioritize right-handed defense because the Canucks don't have any right-handed freaking defense prospects outside of Jet Wu that are pretty significant. And so... With this in mind, with Quinn Hughes in mind, with the idea that Quinn is your number one left-handed guy and you're looking for your number one right-handed guy, who do you go for first? Axel Sandin Pelica or David Reinbacher? Do you go for a guy who will play like Quinn Hughes or who will play more so like a Moritz Sider? Now, for me personally, I could understand why you would go Axel Sandin Pelica. Hey, do you really need to have Quinn Hughes playing with the top right-handed guy? Why not split it up, have Quinn Hughes on the first pair, Sandin Pelica on the second pair, and have shut down guys on the left and the right to supplement both of them? That way, the Vancouver Canucks could get some puck movement and really good offensive potency out of their top two pairings. You could try to go all-out Rambo gunslinger style and put Quinn Hughes and Sandin Pelica on the same pair, but I feel like they would really step on each other's toes and get in each other's way because both of their playstyles revolve around them holding onto the puck and making good reads and passes in front because of it. It would be kind of contradictory, you know, a conflict of interest there. Which is why, for me personally, if I'm trying to choose and I'm trying to assess from the Vancouver Canucks point of view, I'm going David Reinbacher. Because Moritz Sider, the player comparison, is not only a very similarly fluid skater like Reinbacher is. Not only is the comparisons on their own zone and on the boards pretty similar, but when it comes to how Moritz Sider plays, this is a guy that can produce points, but who also has a very strong defensive side to his game. Reinbacher, should he display those same sort of tendencies, would allow Quinn Hughes to expand even further on being the offensive beast that we know he is. Quinn was really good defensively this season, and I'm not going to let anybody tell me that he wasn't. He was a very good defensively-minded defenseman despite putting up all the points. But... If Quinn Hughes is playing with a guy that's a lot more stable defensively, instead of a guy who's more run-and-gun, on the rush type of thing, then it alleviates some of the responsibility you have on Quinn. You remember when Hughes was playing with Shen? That was a really good pairing, and it's because Shen doesn't really do much offensively. Sure, he started to do more offensively this previous season, but in most scenarios, it was Hughes and Shen, the offensive guy and the shutdown guy. Remember back in the day when it was Hughes and Tanev? That wasn't really something that we had seen often, but it was a pretty good idea. And so, with Reinbacher being that more defensively-minded player that's also very mobile and fluid, who can also produce points once in a while, I feel like this is the ultimate guy that could be a partner for Hughes long-term, should you decide between him or Sandine Pelica. No disrespect to the Swede, but let's say it's 2035. These guys have been drafted. These guys played careers. They're maybe at the end of their careers or whatever. Axel Sandin Pelica is going to be known as a power play specialist. And if he pans out to the top of his ceiling, he could be a number one power play guy getting 50, 60 points a year on the back end. If Quinn Hughes is on the Vancouver Canucks, you're not taking that spot on the number one power play away from him in any respect. Like, Quinn is already there. Quinn has locked up that spot, and unless he falls off tremendously, which, you know, in the foreseeable future, we're not going to expect that to happen, you're not going to be able to give Sandin Pelica that opportunity to be a number one puck-moving defenseman on the power play. He'll be overshadowed by Hughes the entire time. And so, from a stylistic point of view, from what the Canucks have versus what the Canucks need, I don't know if Sandin Pelica is the right guy in comparison to David Reinbacher. Now, sure, if the Canucks end up taking Sandine Pelica in the draft over Reinbacher, or Reinbacher's already taken somewhere in the top 10, and the Canucks take Sandine Pelica, I'm not going to be pissed off. Like, he's a very good player. He's a very talented guy. I made a Why I Want video for crying out loud. He's a good player. It's just, if I had to choose between him or Reinbacher, I'd go Reinbacher because of the positional need and what other assets the Canucks have on the opposite sides of their blue line. Does that make sense? I want you to let me know in the comments section what are your opinions about this entire idea, and do I have a point? Do you think it's a nonsensical argument to talk about defense first over offense, or do you think that there should be more of a placement of value on the points and what Sandin Pelica could do versus a Reinbacher? Do you think my idea of power play time distribution is not even worth mentioning? You can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, but if you're a Canucks fan, let me know as well who would you rather take should both of them be available at 11. 
Reinbacher or Axel Sandin Pelika? Disregard Will Smith, disregard Moore, disregard Matvey Mishkov. Let's talk just about right-handed defensemen this time. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye.